I come from educational psychology where the default environmental explanation for individual differences is always family socioeconomic status. And when you actually crunch the data, the correlation's only about 0.3 between socioeconomic status and educational outcomes. Now, it can vary depending on exactly how you measure those things, etc. cetera. Um, but your saying that already within siblings, we're approaching a 0.5 predictor. I mean, that means that today with these within family predictions that don't even consider between family variables and population stratification, all the other stuff that we spoke with Eugene about in an earlier episode, um, you're already making better predictors than you can from education's default assumption. And so if you want to make that if you want to have that level of rigor for a genetic predictor, okay, go ahead. Let's also do it for an environmental predictor and say, okay, how are you validating this? Yep. Let's talk about what level of rigor you're going to apply to that. Cause it's weaker and explains far less and probably matters less than individual genes do, or I should say the collective genes do. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. Interesting.